guys, we must talk about this one. Yes, some people are still not gotten a gaming PC. The year is coming to an end. And when I saw this, I saw this on YouTube where everything goes down. I said to myself, we definitely need to talk, all right? But before we talk, like you all know, if you have been following this channel for an S amount of time, you pretty much know that I will not talk if I do not make sure that the PC I'm talking about is in very good condition. And to do that, I just want to take my magic fluid. Like I promised you, I'm going to be making a video showing you exactly why this is called the magic fluid. But this video is not about that, but you know, my PC is in good condition so that somebody's not going to go onto the comment section and try to, you know, tell me that, look, the PC has a lot of uh, stains, a lot of scratches and so on and so forth. I do not like comments like that. So to prevent that, I just want to make sure that the PC is in the best possible condition that it can possibly be. It's an HP Elite Desk 800G3 tower PC, all right? We're going to talk about it. Just give me some few minutes to do what I know how to do best, all right? So now the PC is clean. We have that sorted out. If you go on to, this needs to also go, all right? So I can actually process this thing the way it's supposed to do. I'm going to take my laptop and just do this so that you can actually see that if you go on to YouTube right now, you will see a video here. It says HP Elite Desk 800G3 ROTS 360 blah, blah, blah gaming upgrade. And this video, why I actually brought it up because this is a channel I respect. And this guy is doing a very good job when it comes to educating you of what's possible. But then I'm not going to be putting the channel on full blast. I'm just going to tell you a few things. You see? He tried to build a budget gaming PC and out of the so many, many PCs we have out there, he did decide to go with the HP Elite Desk 800 G3 Micro Tower PC. There's a reason for this and the reason I'm going to be telling you shortly. First of all, take a look at this PC, excellent PC in every respect. I'm just going to open it so that you can actually take a look at the inside before you begin to complain that look, hardware money, you are just showing us this PC, you're not showing us what you want to see. This is the inside of this PC and this is exactly how it looks. Like I was saying, there are so many pieces out there. What's his name again? Just want to check it. But ITG Gear, this famous YouTuber, actually used this particular PC to do his gaming upgrade. You see, the year is coming to an end. You might be confused right now because, yes, it's very, very expensive to buy an already finished gaming PC. You might be thinking... What can I do if I do not have a lot of money to buy those expensive uh, gaming pieces off of eBay or Amazon? This is exactly what ITG Gear has showed you in this video on YouTube. I respect him a lot and I did make a video about his channel because when I see what he did to a Lenovo Tenta N920 tiny PC, I just said, you know what? This is amazing. This is commendable. And ever since, just to let you in, I do watch his channel just to see what is up to next. But then this is a story for another day. Taking a look at this PC, the beautiful PC has a front blend that you can actually remove like that. And you've got pretty much a lot of space to do a lot of stuff that you would want to do. If you are still confused, you do not know how to upgrade this PC, you know, to turn it into a gaming machine. This has already been covered in the IT Giga YouTube channel. I'm not going to go into all that, but I'm going to show you why in spite of the so many PCs you have out there, ITG Gear actually decided that, you know what, this is going to be the chosen PC, the PC that's going to do the job, the PC that's going to take in this responsible graphic card, and the PC that is actually going to enable you to do your gaming. Bear with me. This is kind of difficult to take apart. I don't want to rush it because I do not want to break anything right here because this PC is in excellent condition. One of you looking at me right now is going to possibly have this PC. I don't want to ruin anything for that person. Take a look at this PC. Look at this space right here. Guys, just take a look. You have a very big space here to put in a very responsible graphic card. And if you want to go ahead to mod this, you also got space to do that. And this channel actually broke down things, made things pretty much simple for you to just copy, which is you're going to get this PC like it is right here. Copy what he has done and you have yourself a gaming PC. Am I going to do that? Possibly no, but just to show you what's possible. And if you are kind of confused because 
there are a lot of pieces out there and sometimes when the choices that you have is so wide there comes a new kind of problem which one do you actually choose and this is exactly why i am showing you this because if you are still confused you do not know what to do or what to buy to build that 100 dollars gaming pc you may want to consider getting the hp elite desk 800 g3 tower pc this pc is well built in fact take a look at the inside it has very good cooling system here. You have a top vent where you can actually get in into the system. And behind the system is also a fan at the chassis. And it has a very good built processor cooler right there. On this particular PC right here, I'm just going to take this out. There's actually a graphic card, but if you actually want to game on your PC, I'm so sorry. This might not be what you will need. So you're definitely going to be taking this out and possibly throwing it away. Even though it's supposed to be a very uh, responsible graphic card, it's got uh, a DVI port, a HDMI port, as well as a display port. I'm not going to throw it away. Just don't think I would do that. But if you want to go ahead and game on this PC, yes, you might want to follow the steps that IT Geek Gear has laid out and see if it works for you. But for me, I pretty much want to keep this PC as an office PC because this PC has one of the best processors. On this PC, it's an Intel 7 Gen Core i7 processor. This is pretty much what you need to make sure that you get all your tasks done in record time. All right. And on this PC, you have the possibility to actually do kind of RAM upgrade to the point that you can possibly roll with the big boys which is a 2 gigabyte of ddr 4 ram and above all right a passive that's not enough on this pc you also have an mvme slot right there where you can actually go ahead install an mvme ssd right there i don't know if you can see that and then you can actually still go ahead install a 2.5 inch ssd right there and as well as a 3.5 inch hg right there perfect pc in front of it a loudspeaker for you so that you do not have to worry where do you have to get loudspeakers for your stuff? And in front of the PC also, you've got here a USB-C port. This is something. I'm just going to close that so that you can pretty much appreciate what it looks like. Just give me one minute. All right. Good. Now you can actually see exactly the way it looks. See, there's a USB-C port right there. USB 3.0 port. USB 3.0 port. USB 2.0 port. Headphones. Just enough for you. And when I look at the back of the PC... I'm also like thinking, wait a minute, there's a lot that has actually been put into this PC because you've got here an additional USB-C port right there. This is not actually something that I see very often. And you also got two display ports. I saw that additional USB 3.0 ports right there. Guys, this is exactly what you need. So gone are the days where you need to suffer, where you need to be confused. You do not know what to buy to turn into a gaming PC. Am I going to do this like I said? Pretty much no. I'd rather keep this as an office PC, which is exactly what it was meant for. And if you are fortunate to get this as an office PC, you are going to be eternally grateful because you're not going to have any problem whatsoever. You're going to install Windows on this PC and the installation is just going to go as easy as ABC without you having to think about installing extra stuff to make sure that Windows recognizes your drive. You're going to install this PC and then you're already going to start working. As if all this is not enough, one beautiful thing that you take out of this PC is that when this PC is working, you do not hear any noise from this PC. I do not know how HP did it. I come across a lot of annoying PCs and sometimes when the pieces are working, they are so loud that you do not really know what's going on if it's an aeroplane that's taking off or if it's a PC that's working. But this PC here is exactly what you need. The process that you possibly need to turn this to a gaming PC, like I said, you can easily get on the ITG Gear Gaming channel. But my job, which I believe I have done, is to show you that, look, you do not have to break the bank trying to get a responsible PC like this to work in a new year. If you are wondering now, hardware money, but how do I get this kind of responsible PC? Just look no further. Look in the link in the description below that takes you directly to this offer. Buy this off of the hardware money shop and thereafter log on to YouTube, onto the ITG Gear channel and then go ahead, if you like, to build a budget gaming PC for yourself. Until I see you again in the next one, peace.